Hi, everybody. Welcome to Christ Our Light Scripture and Reflection. This is Deacon Mark and Mary Beth Barter here today to share with you the scriptures of our day. Today is Tuesday, February 28, 2023. Let's begin with prayer. Look upon your family, Lord that through the chastening effects of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of our yearning for you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The Word of the Lord. The response? From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. From all their distress, God rescues the just. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. From all their distress, God rescues the just. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Alleluia, alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. The following reflection is taken from Living Faith. It's entitled, We Are Not Alone. It's written by Sister Chris Kalhoffer. She writes the following. Have you ever been crushed in spirit, brokenhearted, in distress, crying out to God? I call those experiences the school no one ever wants to attend, the school of pain and loss, of losing one's grip on hope. Of course, no one ever wants to register for such a school, but I've come to believe there is much important learning that can come to us from these excruciating moments that we might not come by any other way. Where is God in these times? The psalmist tells us the Holy One is close to the brokenhearted. The Holy One offers us his presence, walking beside us, accompanying us, assuring us that we are not alone or abandoned. May we do the same today for others. Let us pray. Lord, may your strength be at work within us as we move about our day. 
May what we have received through the scripture this day strengthen us in our actions and presence with those who we meet this day. May we be your son's presence to all. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.